Hi, I'm Joshua Casper. Has this ever happened to you? This is the end, beautiful friend. Anyway, I'm just kidding. This video tutorial is going to be about how to get the sidechain routing done for a track that you need to freeze. Uh, I just got a new computer, so I don't need to do this as much as I used to, but I used to always have to freeze every VST, especially using something like Serum, which is a CPU hog. And it's well worth it, don't get me wrong, but uh, I need to freeze this, this track right here, and I can't. This is what the example sounds like, though it's not important. <laughs> So I need to keep this sub base and I need to keep it side chaining and I don't want to uh, resample it or record it into a new track. I could just, you know, put a new track in here and just set it up to receive this track and record it in here. But that's kind of silly, right? So the best way that I found to do it where it's non-destructive, meaning I can always come back into this patch and tweak what I need to tweak and tweak these MIDI notes and still have everything as is, is to go ahead and create a group. So I'm going to go ahead and group Serum inside of there, and I'm just going to take the compressor and drop it on the group track. Then I can come into Serum. I can freeze it. Boom. Everything is hunky-dory. I'm saving the CPU. It was around 6 before. Now it's at 4%. So I'm saving that 2% of CPU, and I still have the compressor on here, and I can still come in and unfreeze and change the MIDI note, the pattern, or the patch itself and everything is hunky-dory as it should be. And that's just a quick workaround for people who need to do it. Uh, I hope you learned something. We'll see you next time. Peace.